Gude. In this video, I will show you in three, in three German bug, in three simple steps, how you can run Hugging Faces Python based AI voice model called Parler TTS as text to speech solution on your local machine. No cloud required. Can I ask you a question? Uh, sure. Why are you hosting this? Would it not be better if I present this tutorial? Uh, no? No! <laughs> so, uh, let's see what three <laughs> steps you can expect. Step number one. We'll check Python and create a Python virtual environment. Step number two. We will installing or we will install a Parallel TTS by using the Python package. And step number three. We will use Python scripts to generate prompt based audio output. Like the one uh, from that guy trying to take over my YouTube video. So the sample has been obviously synthesized using locally running Parley TTS. I will use my Mac OS M1 notebook to run Parley TTS local, but this should be fine and run on other Python valid operating systems like Windows and Linux. And uh, if you are interested on a tutorial on other operating systems or would like to see how you can create your own AI voice clone with Parley, which I'm trying to get through right now, please let me know in the comment box below. And do not forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and share it with other. <laughs> Let's stay the German bug with other voice enthusiasts. <laughs> Before starting with step one, just let me point out one aspect that makes Palais text-to-speech really special. You can use a text prompt to describe the voice style you would like it to sound, based on 34 named speakers, which you can fine-tune by text prompt. Palais TDS is a fully open source release. All of the datasets, pre-processing, training code and weights are released publicly under permissive permission <laughs> uh, under a good license, so we'll take a, we'll take a closer look. <laughs> Let's start taking a look to the GitHub repository, as it's a purely open source text-to-speech uh, solution. So let's start uh, giving a look to the GitHub Hacking Face Parley TTS repository on GitHub. So, and as you can see uh, on the first um, page, chapter, whatever. Uh, he has mentioned it is a fully open source released. All of the datasets, pre-processing training code and weights are released publicly. Publicity? Public? Are released public under permissive? Perm, under an open source license. So which is, if I'm not wrong on that, which is the Apache 2 license. Before starting to set up that Python environment and installing the Parallel TTS Python package, let's take a look to the basis, so the data set that has been used to train the Parallel TTS model. And for that, you can see this uh, Parallel TTS Mini or Parallel TTS Large model. So if you take a look to the Parallel TTS Mini model, that will bring you to this GitHub, no, to this Hugging Face uh, page here. And uh, you can see, apart from that README uh, field here on the left side, you can see which datasets have been used to train that model. And if we take a further look to the actual voice dataset that has been the basis to train Parley TTS, um, you can see that this dataset, with lots of training data obviously, has uh, not just the text column, so the textual transcribe or transcription of the voice audio and uh, some IDs of the speaker, which is mainly based on this uh, liber, library TTS um, dataset. And um, if you scroll a little bit on the right in this dataset viewer, we can see some uh, uh, aspects of fields like the signal to noise ratio. So some aspects on the quality and the speaking rate, so moderate speak, and uh, let's go still a little bit more to the right. We can see the gender. We can see we can see the pitch, so very high pitch in this case, or balanced in clarity, slightly no noisy, uh, very close sounding. So here are quite some really nice and interesting fields on the quality 
such as very clear, slightly noisy and so on. Great speech quality, wonderful speech quality and an accent. So, and a textual description. All of these attributes have been taken account of while doing the training. So, every WAV file audio recording that is the basis of Parallel TTS has been categorized in a textual way. So, if we use the text prompt to describe how our speech should be synthesized, this is the basis that has been used for Parallel TTS training. So, and last but not least, before starting with the actual cool part, uh, let's go to the uh, Parallel TTS Hugging Face space, where you can just play around and test Parallel TTS in your browser, not locally, obviously, but you can get a first impression of what is possible before installing it locally on your local machine. And if we scroll a little bit down, we can see here, for example, include terms like very clear audio to generate highest quality audio. And this very clear audio has been taken from that prepared voice dataset we have seen previously. So that should be all for the introduction. And now let's go and check our Python installation. I will use my Visual Studio Code editor for doing all the Python magic, but uh, feel free to use the coding environment editor you prefer. So I've created a new empty directory called a Parallel, which is, as you can see here on the command line, which is empty. Uh, by the way, let me please Please let me know what you think on that zoom in feature because I got lots of comments that uh, from time to time my typings and the prompts or the results are not as great to read or to see um, in a small font size. So please let me know if this makes it more readable. So as you can see, no content in here right now. So let's start by taking a look to the Python version. Python version. So I'm running Python in version 3.10.11. And let's start by creating a Python 3 virtual environment. Uh, normally I'd like to, to make this with a starting dot to make it a hidden environment. So it does not really mess up my clean directory and file structure. But in this case, let's make it uh, visible. So we create this Python 3 virtual environment. Let's activate it running vnf bin activate and as you can see here on the right side we have now activated our parallel um, virtual environment and now let's start by installing and updating some default packages by now if we take a look to pip list pretty simple and you can see there is a new uh, release of uh, the Python package management available. So let's update and install some basic stuff. So pip install the package management pip itself, set up tools and wheel minus uppercase u to do an upgrade. Let's run pip list again and you can see newest version of pip setup tools and wheel is installed and on the left navigation side in my um, Visual Studio code we can see just this vnf directory containing the Python virtual environment. So what's next? Let's go back to the GitHub uh, repository README from uh, Hugging Face Parallel TTS. Scroll a little bit down and in the install you can see really simple install by using the pip command. Let's copy that command and go back to our environment. Let's paste it here and run it. Once this is done, let's run pip list again. You can see definitely a longer list. And if we scroll a little bit up, we can see our Parallel TTS package has been installed by running that specific command. Since so we have a Python version 3.10 in my case, we have installed and set up a Python virtual environment and installed the Parallel TTS with just one command. And now, how can we create Python scripts to use that Parallel TTS package? So let's go back to the README again. 
and um, you can see we have this random voice on the one side here uh, which has an example script here with a prompt hey how are you doing today and a description um, of the voice how it should be spoken and uh, if you like to have a specific speaker we'll take a look to that next chapter here so using a specific speaker and if we scroll a little bit more down on the readme we can see as description here john's voice is monotone yet and so on so here is one of the speakers called by name and uh, let's take these two scripts so on the one side that user specific speech or way of speech and that random voice speech script and i would like to show you one aspect that all the changes between these two variations so random voice or specific speaker is just the the, the, the description here <laughs> it's just that one line so let's save or copy this one as random voice let's create a new file let's make random voice put it here and save and let's create a second file with the using a specific speaker code example here copy let's make it specific specific, specific <laughs> voice python I'll save it and now let's choose this one for comparison and compare it with the selected one and now you can see that comparison here and as you can see maybe on the right side there's just one difference so this is just that one line that has a difference and that's the description so all you need to do <laughs> to change from random voice to specific speaker voice is just tell Polly. So that's that's pretty simple. And uh, now let's try it out and see how it sounds. Let's simply take the random voice example. We have this Parallel TTS Mini model. You might uh, remember there's a mini and there's a large model. And uh, let's prompt how are you doing today hey i hope you like that content with problems in pronunciation from a german guy <laughs> so and uh, we have that description a fem female speaker delivers well, let's make a male speaker uh, for example let's go back to the description here on the hugging face data set viewer descriptions uh, what do we have we have moderate speed and slightly um, slightly speed so well let's say moderate speed uh, talking in moderate speed Mm, what else do we have? Noise balanced clean. Let's go to uh, in a slightly noisy environment. So that should be all. Let's remove the rest. Oh, and pitch, why not? So recording is very high quality no noisy environment is good so speaker voice come on let's remove let's get rid of the rest so and the output will be saved as a parallel tts in the format of a wave file so let's save it and simply run our random voice script 
this might take some time on the first run because it has to download obviously the model and config stuff on the first time. And while this is downloading all that cool stuff, um, any chocolate? Hmm? No? Okay. Hmm? Hmm. So two things have been finished right now. On the one side, the download of the Parallel TTS mini model and the chocolate. Hmm, delicious. <laughs> so, uh, and as you can see, uh, after the command has been run successful, we can see on the left side, so in the navigation here, has been a Parallel TTS out file has been created, uh, taking a duration of 11 seconds. And I'd say, let's uh, listen to the file how it sounds. Hey. I hope you like that. Content with problems in pronunciation from a German guy. Okay, you can hear the, the pronunciation issues, but uh, let's compare it to the description. So it has been a male speaker talking in moderate speed. I guess that has been really uh, slow in a noisy environment and pitch. So let's make another example with a specific voice. So let's remove that. For now, uh, let's move to the specific voice. We have John's voice here. And uh, let's take the same sentence. Copy and paste the sentence the prompt here. So, and uh, see John's voice in a monotone yet slightly fast in delivery, which <laughs> with a very close recording, almost no background noise. So, let's stay with that default example uh, taken from the README description and run that script. But let's make it uh, out specific so we can hear the difference later on and let's run python specific voice as you can see by the duration of the process running and by the output so no download of the model has been taken because obviously it has been taken or it has been downloaded uh, on the first run and we have created that second WAV file here parallel TTS specific so let's click it here oh four seconds instead of 11 seconds from the first WAV file so let's listen to the second example with a specific speaker hey I hope you like that content with problems in pronunciation from a German guy Okay, so I guess that's really more way natural, but feel free to play around with different descriptions and prompts. Uh, it's really, I, I personally, I can say it's really fun playing around with the prompts and uh, descriptions. And uh, I'll put the links in the description. So please check all these uh, possible values that might be interesting to be added to your textual description. I hope you liked the video. Please give it a thumbs up. If it is so, let me know in the comments on what you think. And uh, that's it for today. I hope you have a nice day. And if you like, we might see us next time. Bye.